Now in this question then, we're asked to expand binomially 3 minus x to the power 6 and give the first three terms in ascending powers of x. And to do this, what you've got to remember is the binomial expansion for a plus b to the power m, where n is a positive integer. And we've got that here, positive integer, n is 6. And you can see that a is the 3, and you've got to be careful here, b is the minus x. So according to this expansion, what we've got is that 3 minus x to the power 6 then is identical to nc0, 6 in this case for n, 6c0, multiplied by a to the power n, that's 3 to the power 6, multiplied by b to the power 0. b, remember, is minus x, so that's minus x to the power 0. So that's the first term in the expansion. Now we need the second term. So it becomes 6c1, 6c1, and then we take a, which was 3, and we reduce the power by 1, so it's 3 to the power 5, and we start to increase the b term in power. So it's now minus x to the power 1. We add 1 to the 0. Third term it's going to be 6c2. Reduce the power of a, so we were at 3 to the power 5 a moment ago, so it's now 3 to the 4. And we increase the other term, the b term, by 1 power, so it's minus x to the power 2. Notice all the time, by the way, that the sum of your powers, 6 and 0, comes to 6. 5 and 1 is 6, 4 and 2 is 6, so that's always a valuable check. Don't forget also to put plus and so on on the end. There's more terms, even though we've got to write down the first three terms. So all you need to do now is just type this out on a calculator. 6c0 on your calculator times 3 to the power 6. Anything to power 0 is 1. So if you do this, you should find 6c0 is 1. 3 to the power 6 gives you 729. So you've got 729 for the first term. Don't rush in and write a plus. Just check this out. You'll notice that this term is going to be negative because it's the power 1. So overall, this term is going to be a minus term. Then just need to enter 6c1 into your calculator three times 3 to the power 5, and you should find you get 1458, and that will have an x on the end. Check this term out. You've got a negative term, which is squared, so that's going to be positive. So it's going to be positive overall. Then do 6c2 times 3 to the power 4, and you should find you get 1215. And then you've got the x squared, and then plus, and so on. OK, so what you've got then is the binomial expansion, first three terms in ascending powers of x. And that brings us to the end then of this question.